Welcome to this time of prayer and meditation. May these few moments with God's word increase your joy in the Lord and remind you that he is the true and reliable source of all that we need. You can follow along with the prayers and reading in him by clicking the link in the video description. Let's pray. God of glory and power, happy indeed are all who trust in you and not in human wisdom. Grant that casting all our care on you, we may enjoy your gracious favor and sing your praises now and forever. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We appreciate your positive feedback. How many times have you heard that from businesses lately? It seems like so often when we, we have a, a customer experience, someone wants to see what that experience was like. The cynical among us might regard those constant calls for feedback as, as just a way for, for companies to, to kind of burnish their reputation, uh, particularly online, so that they can turn around and use that as a marketing ploy in the never-ending search for new customers. But some of that praise is earned and, and well-deserved. And it's a fitting thing to, to let it be known. Certainly fitting that we, we let our praise for our Lord be known. In the, the customer experience of salvation, he does everything. He gives everything. And all of that in spite of the fact that we on our own are disqualified from even receiving the tiniest bit of it. And he continues to care for our bodies and our souls without ever a break in service without a reduction in the amount of grace or mercy that he shows us. People, because we live in a world corrupted by sinfulness, people can and do let us down. The influential and powerful of the world, even the best of them, cannot be our ultimate sources of confidence. Only the maker of heaven and earth can truly be relied upon, and he blesses us. Some days it requires a, a keener eye and deeper understanding to notice them, but those blessings, they're, they're always there. For all that he does, we praise the Lord now and forever. Today we read Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God as long as I exist. Do not trust in human helpers, in a mortal man who cannot save you. His spirit departs. He returns to the ground he came from. On that day his plans have perished. Blessed is everyone who has the God of Jacob as his help. His hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything which is in them. He is the one who stays faithful forever. He obtains justice for the oppressed. He gives food to the hungry. The Lord releases prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the aliens. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but he turns aside the way of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, rules for all generations. Praise the Lord. This is the word of our God. Having heard his word, we confess Christian faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
We sing the hymn, How Firm a Foundation. in Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings that you continue to give us day after day. While we live in this world, constantly remind us that our treasure is not here, but in heaven with you. Until we are there, help us in our daily toil and struggles. Give us patience and strength to bear up under all things that test our faith. Fill us always with contentment through the righteousness and salvation given to us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, may the love of the Lord Jesus draw us to himself. May the power of the Lord Jesus make us strong to do his will. May the peace of the Lord Jesus fill our lives. Amen. Until next time, may that peace be with you. Thanks for watching.